Today is the first day of 2024, and there are already thousands of new games on the market. Most of these games are really bad, but some of them are quite amazing. Ten of which are definitely going to be the best mobile games of 2024. As usual, this video is not talking about the top charts of the Play Store or the App Store. Most of those games are trash, and the ones that are not have been around for years. My team and I have been researching serious mobile games for the last 12 years, so let's give you our list of the top 10 mobile games for 2024. The first game on our list is Wuthering Waves. Last year, I put this game as number three, and it was a huge mistake because it never came out. But this time, they already have CBTs active with great feedback back and the developers have said it will definitely come this year. So hopefully I am not repeating last year's mistake. As I mentioned last year, this game is being called a Genshin Impact Killer. Personally, I don't believe Genshin will be dethroned by a game too similar to itself, but nonetheless, there's quite a bit of hype for this game. One of the distinguishing factors that sets this game apart from the rest is its system for movement and combat. The trailer showcases several unique elements to movement like scaling walls, teleporting, and gliding. These techniques can be used during combat, creating incredibly dynamic fights in a way that will be extremely satisfying for the player that becomes skilled at this game. In addition to these mechanics, the story of the game is incredibly intriguing, in which a worldwide disaster called the Kalamon brought forth an unknown enemy, but also brought forth the withering substance that when combined with certain humans called quarters, makes them extremely powerful. As one of these quarters, you undertake the task of figuring out what happened to your world, which I will Add, happens to be a very open world so you can explore it as you desire. So this is, in my opinion, the top game for this year, but there are a lot of other good games coming out this year and some of them are very different from this one, so let's keep going. The second game on our list is Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. I know so many people are pissed at Activision right now. This game was promised to us last April and even though over 35 million people pre-registered, they delayed it and then delayed it again and again and finally pulled it out for this year. And because of this, some of you might be frustrated that I have it so high on this list. But you have to keep in mind that even though players are pissed, they are still going to play it when it comes out. Diablo Immortal was booed off the stage, delayed for six years, and still broke records. Call of Duty Warzone Mobile is going to do even better. In 2019, Call of Duty Mobile took the mobile platform by storm, grossing over 14 million in the first week, which was over 20 times more than PUBG Mobile. And the game continues to hold strong as one of the biggest player bases in the world. Even though the betas have been full of bugs, the game is already showing better graphics and gameplay, and it has bigger maps with more players in each game. They of course need to fix the bugs, and they will. That is why they've postponed it so much. Furthermore, they are linking battle pass progression on all platforms, which will bring over a lot of PC gamers that want to keep working on their battle pass when they are away from their computer. So this game is going to be absolutely gigantic this year. With now over 45 million players pre-registered, Activision is poised to break all of the records, all of which is just beating themselves because they already broke all the records with Call of Duty Mobile in 2019 and no one has been able to compete with them yet. The third game on our list is Hades, originally made by Supergiant Games and is now being ported to mobile devices by Netflix Games. This highly acclaimed indie roguelike top-down action game immerses players in the role of the son of Hades himself, Zagreus, as he attempts to escape the underworld. While rooted in the roguelike genre, Hades distinguish itself with a strong focus on narrative, making it one of the most story-driven experiences within the roguelike category. Between each action-packed run, you'll be progressing a narrative full of twists and turns as you speak to members of your house within the underworld. These include the likes of Hades, your father, who will berate you and insist that you cannot and should not escape constantly, along with other characters that add layers to the narrative, providing players with a unique and immersive storytelling experience. Hades has gained wide spread recognition within the gaming community for its unique blend of challenging roguelike gameplay and a compelling narrative. Its success lies not only in its gameplay mechanics, but also in its ability to make the often daunting roguelike genre more accessible and more enjoyable for a broader audience. The fourth game on our list is Rainbow Six Mobile. This upcoming mobile port aims to bring the tactical and intense gameplay of the Rainbow Six franchise to mobile devices. This game is another one which was supposed 
supposed to come out last year, but was delayed and is now supposed to be released by the end of this year. For those unfamiliar with the franchise, Rainbow Six Mobile immerses players in a world where meticulous planning and flawless execution of strategies are paramount to accomplishing objectives. A robust emphasis on teamwork and communication permeates the gameplay, distinguishing it as a title that demands not only individual skill, but also effective collaboration. The game's multiplayer component offers a array of modes, with standout selections being the action pumping bomb mode, requiring coordinated efforts to defuse explosives, and hostage rescue mode, where players unite to rescue captives. Diversity takes center stage as Rainbow Six Mobile furnishes players with an extensive arsenal of weapons, an array of cutting edge gadgets, and a selection of unique operators, each endowed with distinctive abilities and playstyles. The fifth game on our list is The Division Resurgence, a highly anticipated mobile shooter game that promises to provide players with an immersive and action-packed gaming experience. This game is the latest addition to the popular Division franchise, and it is sure to make waves in the gaming world. In The Division Resurgence, players will find themselves in a post-apocalyptic world where they must fight to survive against the deadly virus that has decimated the population. Players will take on the role of Division agents tasked with restoring order and taking back control of the city. One of the standout features of The Division Resurgence is its detailed and expansive open world, which is filled with dangers and opportunities. Currently, it is set to release in March, though I believe it's going to face a few more delays until its eventual release. The game's stunning graphics and intense gameplay are sure to make it one of the most exciting mobile shooters of 2024. The sixth game on our list is Frostpunk Beyond the Ice, which is a mobile port of the highly acclaimed city building survival game. Now, some of you have expressed frustration that my videos include so many ports. Unfortunately, creating a unique mobile title is difficult for developers, and while lucrative, there's a lot of competition to be seen, so most of them start out on other platforms. So while I do prioritize unique mobile titles in these videos, they are rare, and many times the best to offer are the ports. Frostpunk is one of those ports, transporting players into a chilling post-apocalyptic world. Frostpunk presents a challenge as you navigate unforgiving conditions to ensure the survival of a dwindling population. In this game, you are one of the last survivors, tasked not only with securing your own existence, but also with the weighty responsibility of safeguarding others and maintaining crucial infrastructure in this desolate, snow-covered landscape. The game compels you to make tough decisions that not only impact your own fate, but also determine the survival and prosperity of your society. Frostpunk Beyond the Ice on mobile seeks to replicate the essence and charm of the original game, promising to deliver the same gripping experience while adapting it to the mobile gaming platform. The prospect of witnessing the intricate city building and survival dynamics on a smaller screen is intriguing, and many enthusiasts are eagerly anticipating how the mobile version will capture the essence of its PC counterpart. The seventh game on our list is MoCo, an upcoming game by Supercell, the studio's colorful monster hunting entry into the popular genre. In this game, players can join characters like Luna, Manny, or Jax, venturing across diverse parallel worlds in pursuit of unique creatures. The challenge lies in facing these creatures head on, serving as the ultimate test of strength and skill. The hard work invested in these endeavors promises generous rewards in the end, making the journey all the more worthwhile. One distinctive feature that sets MoCo apart is its embrace of open world hunting. Players are granted the freedom to roam expansive landscapes, providing an immersive experience as they search for creatures to engage in battle. The richness of parallel worlds unfolds before players, encouraging exploration and discovery within diverse and captivating environments. Adding an extra layer of excitement to the gameplay, MoCo introduces dungeon raids. These missions plunge players into perilous environments, demanding strategic thinking and combat prowess. Navigating through these challenging dungeons becomes a thrilling aspect of the game, promising valuable rewards for those who dare to face the dangers within. The fusion of open world exploration, monster hunting, and dungeon raids positions MoCo as a title that not only captures the essence of the genre, but elevates it to new heights. As much as I've ragged on Supercell in the past, it's fair to say that they are great at making mobile games, so undertaking a good monster hunter was a good move on their part. The eighth game on our list is Ashfall, NetEase's new post-apocalyptic shooter, and in typical NetEase fashion, instead of just making a Fallout mobile, thus incurring the wrath of Fallout fans, they are essentially making their own semi-unique mobile version of the game. The graphics and gameplay look awesome, and the game looks 
more and more like a AAA title, to the point that they have even hired the same music producer, Einan Zur, as that of Fallout. But more impressively, they've also hired Hans Zimmer, who is one of the most famous music directors in the entire music industry. Also, there aren't a lot of good post-apocalyptic games for the mobile phone right now, meaning that this game will have its own niche in the gaming market. Fallout is a huge franchise, largely because it is the best of the post-apocalyptic genre, so if NetEase spares no expense at doing this with Ashfall, I have no doubt it will do amazing this year. The ninth game on our list is Project Mugen, an upcoming open world RPG also developed by NetEase. Distinguishing itself with a futuristic theme and vibrant anime artistic styling, the game unfolds on a planet that bears similarities to Earth but is marked by the coexistence of humans and supernatural entities. Players step into the role of an esper known as the Infinite Trigger, entrusted with the crucial task of maintaining the world's delicate balance by monitoring anomalies and paranormal events. The gameplay revolves around team-based combat scenarios. Each engagement features a squad of four distinct characters, each contributing their unique abilities and skills to the battle. Success in these encounters requires strategic coordination and effective utilization of the character's diverse strengths. Moreover, the game emphasizes the importance of interacting with and leveraging the surrounding environments to gain a tactical advantage. The tenth game on our list is Warframe Mobile, the port of the popular sci-fi MMO third-person shooter. In this adaptation, players step into the role of Tenno, an ancient race of warriors emerging from centuries of cryosleep to a galaxy embroiled in chaos. At the core of Warframe Mobile is a dynamic gameplay loop where players embark on missions, level up, and amass an arsenal of new weapons and gear. The thrill of completing objectives and overcoming challenges is complemented by cooperative missions, where players unite to strategize and confront enemies as a cohesive team. A standout feature in the game's robust crafting system empowers players to craft new weapons and equipment using resources gathered during missions. This adds a strategic layer, encouraging resourceful exploration and customization of loadouts to tackle diverse missions and challenges. Warframe Mobile is poised to deliver the same fast-paced, action-packed gameplay that has enamored fans of the original, all while introducing mobile-specific features for an optimized gaming experience. As the Tenno, players will navigate a galaxy filled with turmoil, encountering thrilling missions and dynamic gameplay. Okay, so those are the top 10 mobile games of 2024, but I do have three more honorable mentions for you. The first one is DMC Peak of Combat. This one's interesting, as this should have made it to the main list considering I had it in my 2022 video and it's releasing this year. But the reason I did not include it is because it is basically not what we thought it was. The combat system in its current state is dull, and the reception of its CBT has been mostly negative, and the game doesn't look good on the free-to-play front either. All in all, I have little hope for this game unless they majorly overhaul it, which seems unlikely considering it is right around the corner, releasing in just nine days on January 10th. The second honorable mention is The Desolation, which is a co-op looter shooter that embarks players on a thrilling journey through limitless procedurally generated worlds, featuring cooperative action combat and an extensive build customization system. With its commitment to delivering a deep, satisfying tactical gameplay experience, the desolation stands out by introducing layers of complexity to the looter shooter genre, promising an immersive and strategic gameplay encounter. Despite not clinching a spot in the main list due to some uncertainty surrounding its release time frame, the game remains a compelling contender, showcasing the potential to offer players an engaging and dynamic gaming experience. The last honorable mention is Delta Force Hawk Ops. This is another shooter which offers players both a single player campaign inspired by the iconic movie Black Hawk Down with expansive multiplayer dynamics. It's a refreshing departure from the trend in contemporary mobile shooters where the focus often leans heavily towards multiplayer experiences, neglecting the immersive single player narratives. The prospect of a substantial single player campaign in a mobile shooter is particularly intriguing, and I'm eagerly anticipating how this game will play out. However, despite the game's promising features and innovative approach, there remains a significant uncertainty about its release date. Given this uncertainty and the possibility of the game not debuting this year, I opted to exclude it from this list, but I wanted to mention it because this game shows off the ever-evolving landscape of mobile gaming, hinting at a potential shift towards holistic gaming experiences on the mobile platform. Well, that's it guys. Hope that helped. If you were thinking, dang it, a lot of these games aren't out yet. This 
is because we still have 12 months left for this year. If you are wanting to watch a video with games that are already out, I just released a video four weeks ago with my final list of the top 10 games for 2023. And I will also be updating this list throughout this year. So if that interests you, make sure to subscribe to get those notifications. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.